Okay. I don't know where to start on this video, but... This is how the story goes about what happened the weekend of the Roostube gathering. Now, I was one of the fellow YouTubers who were there at the last bit of the um, gathering, little post-partying type atmosphere, I wouldn't call it that, but we just went off to have drinks. Well, personally, I didn't drink myself, I just went off to enjoy all the entertainment of the day and still on a natural high I just wanted to be around with all my other fellow YouTubers we all headed off to the lovely Plow Inn <coughs> sorry I'm choking on um, the bullshit I just said then the horrifying Plow Inn now at the beginning everything was fine going into the Plow Inn there was a backstory what you go over and see um, O1 Dave the Couch Guy, I'm not sure which video it's on. Um, let me just have a quick squeeze in front of you. <laughs> uh, it's on, yeah, O1 Dave the Couch Guy's channel. Um, you'll find out more about the backstory before this actually started. Now we're all sitting up um, stairs during the, uh, the afternoon. There was no one else upstairs at the time. We were the only group up there. The bar was like run run off its feet because of all us YouTubers. There was probably still oh, 40, 50 so people still hanging around drinking um, or chatting, creating videos and all that. And one of the bouncers um, started coming around to us. Now this guy, for some odd reason, had a beef on us. He didn't explain himself what the beef was or why he was picking on us. But um, from stories I've heard today is that there was a slight falling out before this event for some weird reason. They didn't want the publicity of the play and what well, personally, I would have jumped on if I was the owner of this place. So, the, so this guy, the, the, the bouncer, was coming around to us saying, stop filming, not allowed to take photos, um, something about a sticker being put somewhere on the door way, what, for some reason we don't know what exactly the sticker was or where it was. But he was picking on my good mate um, DCT Cool for some reason. He decided that um, since he was wearing the YouTube shirt that he was in charge, and true turns he wasn't, he was just wearing his YouTube shirt he usually wears. So the evening goes on, this guy just kept coming back and back and back saying, don't film, don't do this, don't do that. Um, and the thing is, we walked into that venue. Now, the article I've read, um, Carol of DCT Cool, if you want to read the full article, he's um, transcribed it onto his, um, what was it, Daily Booth. So head over there, um, links will be somewhere down below. And I was reading through it, and um, they said oh, we were abusing their policies. What policies? We didn't see any policies. There was nothing up on the walls. There was nothing saying no filming, no photography. The whole of the venue, there was not one sign saying this. The only exception, no smoking. And that was seemingly the only sign I ever saw while I was there. So the evening gone, we got to the point everyone just left um, one after another and disgrace. A few days later Thad put a video up thanking LA Hotel um, who were brilliant. Um, they are up Cax on the corner of Caxton Street and Petrie Terrace. They were brilliant guys. They really went out of their way to make um, Fab's birthday party a, a, a wonderful night. We enjoyed it. I was only there until about 11 at night but that was fun. And then he was saying thank you to Dex, who was our saviour, because we were supposed to be going to the plow in to have our luncheon there, and um, for some reason there was a falling out, 
as I said before, and this is where all the crap started falling from. Now, Fab then started as his typical fat Aussie bastard character came out and started bagging the Plow Inn. Now, the Plow Inn in Brisbane is one of the crappiest establishments I have ever seen. Yes, it looks beautiful, but when it comes down to the management and the security staff, the total ass. They walked around, they, 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 they literally ignored us. We were pumping thousands of dollars into their business. Now, Fab took that video down about 24 hours after that, after there was a comment from a worker there. In some ways now we don't care because the whole business is dishing on us YouTubers. Now, in the text as I was reading it, um, let me see if I can find it again. Um, reading down, they go on YouTube and think they are a law unto themselves and just carry on on like with that with no regards for sense. Con no, what is it? Consequence. Um, excuse my language, I have a problem with pronunciation, so they're saying that we don't care, we'll bitch about anything and everything, but it's quite true, but it's, to me, have they ever heard of reviews? Now, millions of reviews are done worldwide. If you're going to sue a reviewer, you're basically going to kill your own business. Now the comment goes on, and this is from the um, owner. Uh, unfortunately, they have run into us, and we're going to nail them. Now, what do you mean by nail them? Um, are you going to take us to court and take everything from us? I think not, mate. Um, I think you haven't heard about Viacom. This is YouTube. Um, the community of YouTube is very strong and very powerful. Now, if you're going to take us on, you're taking on hundreds of thousands of subscribers, partners, and directors worldwide. And a lot of us are very powerful when it comes to stuff like this. So if you're going to pull this crap out on us, come on. My gloves are out. I'm ready to take you on. I am supporting Fab 100%. If you think that he is wrong, is bull, because I was there, I saw what happened. Um, this guy has now killed his business, and I guarantee he will be out of business by the end of next year. So, mate, we'll see you in court, unless you chicken out, as you probably will. Um, you've got nothing to stand on. We were nice, we were calm, we weren't drunk, we were all friendly to everyone. It was just the outcome that you've taken it this far and are drawing it out. This video has been taken down and you, 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 you're now bitching that you're getting all this bad press. Now on your website it says comments um, and reviews are welcome, especially on your Facebook. So, now, was everything sent to you, um, giving you an idea that maybe you need to sit down, think about your business and um, look at it? I've done retail in high school and I could clearly see that you're heading in the wrong direction, mate. You go look at everything out there and get everything um, going um, or, or you're going to get in a lot of trouble in the future and this is the thing what kills businesses out there. So don't take on us, come to the desk, talk to us, apologise and this will be blown over within days. Don't take it to court mate or you're going to um, Feel the bite of YouTube, and the bite of YouTube hurts. Okay, this is Adam from Shieldsy One Channel signing off. That's my rant. 
Um, guys, head down to the links below. I've got a um, link to O1 oh, Dave the Couch Guy. I've got a link to Fab's videos there. Um, also, there's a link to the um, text or article in the Sunday Mail. Um, keep your eyes out to it. Uh, Sunrise has picked up on this and might do a piece about it probably in the next few days, so keep your eyes out for it. This is gonna be big. See you guys.